Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. Up today for you we have the Hippo Sunshade. And we're going to be putting it on this car and trying it out today. Let's see how this goes. It comes in a convenient bag, of course. And it looks like there are... Is this another bag or is this for your mirror? I think this is for the... Oh, these are both for the mirror. So the bags are mirror covers. These on your mirrors. These will protect your car from snow and ice in the winter time. In the winter time what happens is the, the snow and the ice collects on your windows and on your mirrors and then you can't go anywhere, you can't see anything. And I've used these before in the winter time. They do work. As long as it covers it, it works. These bags each have a pull tight on the bottom so you can pull them tight after you get them around the mirrors then we just put the cover on and I think it has magnets because when I sat it on the car it stuck to the car so I'm gonna put this on this sunshade does indeed have magnets so you can either use a sunshade or to keep the snow off magnets are very powerful they're sticking to each other so it is summertime, so we're going to use the silver side to reflect the sunlight and it looks like the side with the straps maybe goes up, although I'm not quite sure to be honest. Yeah, I'm not really sure, I think the straps just kind of go in the door or they hang on the mirrors, you could hang it on the mirrors. So you could shut your doors on these straps, but you don't have to. You can take the strap, wrap it around the mirror, and hook it to itself. You may have to do it more than once, but it does work like that. With the magnets and everything, as long as you don't have really strong winds, um, this is going to stay on the car. And right now, it's protecting the car from sun. But if I flipped it around in wintertime, put the black side up, it would be protecting it from uh, snow and ice and whatever else and of course I got those covers there now if you are having your car set like mine has been sitting for a long time here because I need to re finish restoring it um, those mirror covers can also protect the mirror because the Sun fades your mirrors it turns the black mirrors uh, gray it makes the paint come off so basically um, by putting those on there you can help keep your mirrors from fading keep everything looking nice so Anyways, great product and uh, definitely something to use, especially in the winter time when you're wanting to keep the ice and the snow off your car. So anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Jesus bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video and consider giving to our Patreon. All right. Also, check out my GoFundMe. Um, hopefully, I have a link in this video description and everything else that's going on because I need a new camera. For my YouTube channel, I really do. And also make sure you check out how to build a moped.com. All right.
right, so hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector's reflective in the camera, isn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights and the uh, license plate right there. Got the license plate light going. You can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. And I've been waiting a long time to install it. It's probably a year since somebody sent me that to review. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a motorbike for this or get an electric bike or something, you know. Anyway, so here's how this is wired up. So I went under here. I stayed the same colors. And then I went to, see, I went to regular wires there. And uh, the 16 gauge, because these guys claim that this draws like 40 watts of power, but it doesn't even register on uh, my power supply so i don't think it i don't think it really draws anything but anyway so wires go along here underneath the gas tank try to keep them nice and clean and out of sight there with the black wrapping around like that and of course you can see down here the extra hardware now i was able to use the same mount for the uh the uh, cdi there for the uh regulator um, now, a regulator, just a, a rectifier goes from uh, DC to AC, I'm sorry, AC to DC, alternating current to direct current. And uh, basically, I've, you can you can get those even smaller, but they've got to have a heat sink on them, and so that's pretty much the way to go. Fairybikebrightlights.com has a kit you put on. You don't have to wire any of this stuff up. It just has plugs, and you plug it all in, and it's done. But there we go. And then, of course, I got my motorcycle uh, headlight switch here. This is for four-way. I, I changed this to be four-way flashers because I need a switch for that. This switch sucks. This is the one that came with the headlights here, and uh, this switch sucks because when I turn them off, uh, sometimes the red laser stays on. It didn't this time, but there it flashes. There you go to low beam, so I don't use all my power. There's the red laser. It's supposed to be pointed upside down. The red laser is supposed to be on the ground. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to figure out a way to turn this upside down. And if I did, I think it would just hit my basket. Here's left signal light, right signal light. Somebody sent me these signal lights too. Uh, what I'd like to do, honestly, is have just a little light, yellow light here hooked into this, just so it's easy to see from the side. But, you know, this is the side profile of the bike. Even, you know, you can see I'm kind of behind it. And you can still see the signal light from this side. So, pretty good. Now, as far as the other side, though, um we'll do the same thing go back here now it's kind of invisible see so even if i put them i mean i guess i could put them up higher but i don't know anyway that's that and then of course my four ways and we'll go back and look at the back ones now brake lights are not on the brake lights are on would be much brighter of course i don't have the headlight on so my running lights aren't on because i connected all that together <laughs> 